Section 9 of Birds and All Nature, Volume 4, Number 3, September 1898. Recorded for LibriVox.org by Sean Ed Vaughan. Birds of Alaska No sooner had the twilight settled over the island than new bird voices called from the hills about us. The birds of the day were at rest, and their place was filled with the night denizens of the island. They came from the dark recesses of the forest, first single stragglers, increased by midnight to a stream of eager birds passing to and fro from the sea many attracted by the glow of the burning logs altered their course and circled about the fire a few times and then sped on from their notes we identified the principal night prowlers as the cassin's awkward rhinoceros orc merlet and varieties of petrel all through the night our slumbers were frequently disturbed by birds alighting on the sides of the tent slipping down with great scratching into the grass below where our excited dog took a hand in the matter daylight often finding our tent strewn with birds he had captured during the night when he found time to sleep i do not know he was after birds the entire twenty-four hours in climbing over the hills of the island we discovered the retreats of these night birds the soil everywhere through the deep wood being fairly honeycombed with their nesting burrows the larger tunnels of the rhinoceros orcs were as a rule on the slopes of the hill while the little burrows of the cassin's awkward were on top in the flat places we opened many of their queer abodes that ran back with many turns to a distance of ten feet or more one or both birds were invariably found at the end covering their single egg for this species like many other sea birds divide the duties of incubation both sexes doing an equal share relieving each other at night the puffins nested in burrows also but lower down often just above the surf one must be very careful indeed how he thrusts his hand into their dark dens for should the old bird chance to be at home its vice-like bill can inflict a very painful wound the rookeries of the murs and cormorants were on the sides of the steep cliffs overhanging the sea looking down from above hundreds of eggs could be seen gathered along the narrow shelves and chinks in the rocks but accessible only by means of a rope from the top outing end of section nine this recording is in the public domain